Hello and welcome to today's tutorial which is going to be on the picture in picture effect in Nero Platinum 15. If you find it difficult to follow this tutorial I advise you to watch this tutorial which is advanced editing with Nero Platinum 15. So I'm going to exit out of my YouTube channel I'm going to come across to where it says Nero Platinum 15 on my desktop and I'm going to click that icon. I'm going to come across to where it says Nero Video and click. I am going to make an advanced movie today so I click on that part of the screen. I've selected ultra high definition setting 4K at 25 frames per second. And I'm going to click and I'm going to come to the top right hand side of the screen and click on the drop down and choose import files. These are the video files I'm working with today so I'm going to select them all and I'm going to click open and they've all opened in this box here. I'm going to bring the mouse to where it says Nero PIP, Picture in Picture Effect Templates, and I'm going to click, and it opens up this window. And in this window, I have several choices of template, and I can use this slider to move up and down to view them all. I can click on a template, and I can preview what is going to happen in that template in this window here. And I can come up here to where it says settings and I can click. And I can change the length of that the template is going to play for. And I can further modify it by using this drop down. I'm going to use that choice today, shift. And I'm going to go back to template. So that is a template that I'm going to use to start with. So if I click OK on the screen, the template is shown here in the four video lines. And I can move the video lines up and down to see the effect. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is load a video into this template. And to do that, I need to unselect all of these choices. So I click on the screen, I click, hold and drag that video, and I'm going to drop it into the screen here. And that video has loaded up. And I can then play that video. So I'm going to go to full screen to let you see the effect. And I'm going to click play. And I'm going to pause the video there and I'm going to then go close full screen. Now I've got some text here but I want to change the words of that text obviously and so I need to click on the text uh, icon. I will right click and then I'm going to go to where it says ungroup Nero PIP and I'm going to click and that allows me then to move all of these video lines. I'm going to go and click on the text box on that video line 4 and I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click where it says on the screen edit and I can then choose the type of uh, text I want to use so I'm going to choose that choose whether it was bold, italic, underlined, I could choose the size of the text, I'll make the text slightly bigger, say I choose 48, and I could choose uh, the filling or the shadow that I had, and if I'm happy I click close, and that allows me now to write anything that I want into that box. So I'm going to write... Water. 
and then click done. And I can now see the effect. So I'm going to move the time marker to the beginning of the timeline. I'm going to go to full screen. I'm going to click play. And we have the western bell and we've got the words love Ullswater and the beating heart. Because I do love Ullswater. And the video is finished. So I'm going to close full screen by clicking there and I'm going to choose to bring in more templates. So I come to Nero PIP, I click and this time I want a template that has three videos on it and I can choose, I'm going to click to see what is on this template and as you can see in the preview window one of the videos opens up over the two smaller videos I'm going to click OK and once again the timeline has all these templates loaded onto it and so I'm now going to choose three videos and I'm going to click I'm going to drag and I'm going to drop the video into C just to show you that you can load it in there if I play that I'm going to then have the video show here but I think it's probably easier to click drag and drop into the screen here because you can see exactly where it is on the screen and I'm going to click drag and drop that video into there and when it's loaded I'm going to come back to the beginning of that new selection I'm going to go to full screen I'm going to click to play and we would have this effect. Now you'll notice that the video is playing in a very jerky fashion. That's because my computer is struggling handling the vast amounts of information I'm asking it to process. But once I've rendered this video, this material will be played smoothly. I'm going to close full screen and I'm back in this screen. To again choose Nero PIP. I'm going to choose another template, this time more complicated. So I'm going to look for an interesting template. I think I'm going to choose this one here. I'm going to click. I'm going to preview what's going to happen. The bottom left hand window or image is going to open across the screen. I'm going to click OK and I can then choose images to drop into A on the screen. So I'm going to choose that image and then I'm going to play it. So I'm going to click to play. I'm going to then choose the next image to go into that part of the screen. I'm going to choose another image to go into that part of the screen. I'm going to choose another image. And finally, I'm going to choose that image. And I'm going to just play that just to get an indication of what is going to happen. So I'm going to go full screen, I'm going to click play. And it's playing, not very smoothly. We'll sort that out shortly. These are images of Glen riding 
and I'm going to then close full screen. And uh, actually, I call it Glen Riding, the locals call it Glen Ridding, and probably that is the correct way to pronounce the uh, village or town. And uh, finally, what I'm going to do, I'm going to write some text on this. I could use the PIP text if I wanted to. I could choose, say, to uh, use the text here. Um, but I'm going to just write something on it just to show you that there is another way of putting text onto this. And to do that, I need to go to Effects Palette. I'm going to look for uh, the text. I'm going to click Text. I'm going to choose from here to have some text. So I'm going to do Fade In. I'm going to click. I'm going to drag. I'm going to open up another timeline if uh, it will let me, which it does. I'm then going to click and move that along to to where I want it to play and if I bring the time marker towards the text and I make the scale bigger so it's easier to work with I'm going to click I'm going to move that along and I can then edit this text so I'm going to click edit choose a type of text which I've chosen here. I'm going to close and I'm then going to write in something here. And I've written in Love Owls Water Steamers and I click Done. I think that text is just a little bit small, so I could click edit, I could go on to the drop down here and I'll choose a bigger size and I'm going to click close. And if I play that, you'll see when it eventually starts to play, a bit struggling. asking it to do so much work it's really struggling. But I've got Love Wolves Water Steamers there and I'm going to stop. I'm going to bring the time marker back starting at the beginning. So I'm going to drop this scale down, bring the time marker onto that writing. I'm going to click. I'm going to go across to where it says scale going to choose position as well and I'm going to make this writing increase in size by about 50% and I'm going to make it move up the screen as well. So if I increase the size that by clicking and moving it along, get hold of that little marker on scale and move it along. You'll see me do this many times, and then I'm going to play that in full screen. So I'm going to full screen, I'm going to click to play. And that's the effect that we would have. So I'm going to exit full screen. And at the end, perhaps I want this all to fade out. And so to do that, I need to go to Transitions, which is here. I'm going to click Transition. I'm going to look for the transition that I want.
crossfade, I'm going to click, I'm going to put crossfade in there, and I might just make it a bit longer, like dragging it along, and then it will just gently fade out to black at the end. But to see the effect, I now have to render this material. But before I do that, I should remember to put some music on it. So I'll come down to where the audio tracks are, and come up to Effects Palette and close that. I choose the audio here by clicking, and I'm going to just choose this Nero piece of music. So I'm going to click, I'm going to drag that music in, put it to the beginning of the timeline, it will automatically sort itself out and it will finish at the end of the video. I'm just going to check that. It, it will, it will fade out there. And so I'm now going to export. So I'm going to click export. I don't want to save this. I've already pre-selected. I'm going to render it in 4K. I'm going to check where it's going to go. It's going to go in my D drive. And so I'm just going to click browse and I'm going to give it a name. I'm just going to call this Lovell's Water. I'm going to click save and then I'm going to click export. And it will take several minutes for this video to render. And so I'm not going to put you through that. I'll stop the video and I'll restart the video when this has completed rendering. And now the video has completed rendering, I can click OK. And I and downsize this project. I can come to my D drive and look for where I have my video, which is here, Love All's Water. And I'm going to play it to you. And there we have it. I had a lovely day filming at Glen Ridding, creating this video of Ulswater Steamers and Air Force, and I look forward to meeting you in my next tutorial. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.